And let me be provocative for, right. for, for a moment, because there, there, there's a common critique, uh, probably all too common critique, that you hear in policy circles, both in Europe and the United States, which is, we don't know who the opposition is. Uh, they're mixed up with Al-Qaeda and Al-Nusra. The bad guys are the ones with the weapons who are better organized. If they come to power, they're going to massacre the Alawites. If they come to power, we don't know what their position on Israel will be. This is a mess. Now, how would you address those critiques? Well, obviously, there are answers to all these questions, all uh, uh, mostly myths. Number one, we don't know who the opposition are. You, you, you know, been seeing opposition every major outlet, every place, and every corner for the past two years. Were they able to talk before then? No. They were massacred. They were harassed. They were uh, persecuted. They were jailed. It's a police state. Nothing worse than Syria than than, than North Korea. Um, uh, you know, when it comes to these issues, um, uh, are they? Uh, fragmented, yes. What do you expect from a, a political uh, opposition that has not had the chance to talk to each other or meet or convene or practice politics or, or, or governance or any of, that, uh, 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 of these issues uh, for decades? So, of course, they have to learn this uh, uh, from the ABC. And the learning curve has been really, really remarkable. Uh, whether the opposition, the uh, moderate forces or secular are mixed with extremists and stuff, we have to do, differentiate between the political opposition and the fighters on the ground, that's number one. And number two, on the ground, you have a, a vast spectrum of, of, of fighters. You have the main bulk, which is the FSA, Free Syrian Army, who are defected soldiers and officers, professionally trained army men uh, and women, and uh, uh, those are obviously majority secular. And then you have the civilians who picked up arms, uh, uh, just to defend their you know, farms and, and, and neighborhoods and, and, and families. And then on the right of, sa of that, you have the uh, 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 extremists or religious fighters or whoever flew in to fight. But what are the percentages? Uh, even intelligence agencies estimate the, the foreign fighters in Syria or whoever associated with the global jihad networks, i.e. Al-Qaeda, do not exceed 1,200 to 1,500 fighters.